hello? <laughs> Why am I like this? What? Ugh, okay. Hold on. I gotta situate myself. I look like the fucking Pillsbury Doughboy. Hello? I'm here tonight at the Galliard Theater in Charleston, South Carolina for a sold out show. We got 1,700 people here tonight for this sold out show. 130 meet and greets. We finna shake our titties. Pick up your phone up on the request line. <laughs> I want to go see the merch. Oh shit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bitch, I don't care if Pinocchio comes to my show, okay? Because the money is money. <laughs> Money is money, bitch. It all goes to the same account. It's our women, bitch, and? Who's coming to your show? <laughs> your mama? Look at my merch. My beautiful candles. My book. Why am I still walking around with no shoes on? You can take the boy out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out of the boy. That's not the full face. Isn't that what I said in this photo shoot the whole time? Yes, the Miss whole time. Like, when we were doing this photo shoot, uh -huh. she was like, okay, now make a face like a funny comedy face. And I'll be like, the book? Right. The book? Exactly. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous tonight because there is, we're doing a private meet and greet that my manager set up um, with, you gonna roll up in here like that and just fuck it up. There got my manager with her little dusty ass. <laughs> there is a lady that is bringing her mom to the show. Um, her mom, I believe if I'm correct, has um, terminal cancer. And one of the things on her bucket list was to see me perform. So she's coming to the show. We surprised her with a private meet and greet. So she's gonna be coming backstage. Um, and we're gonna meet her and take some pictures with her and uh, hang out with her. So really excited and nervous about that because that should be making me emotional. So um, we're gonna see how that goes. Are you kidding me? Hi. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How are you? Come on. Come on. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh my God, you make me laugh so much. Uh, I'm crying now. Come on in. I ain't got no shoes on or nothing. Oh, I ain't ready. I ain't got ready yet. We're but feet, wherever. Yeah, we're, yeah, just, we're just, shots. we're just yeah. uh, oh, getting oh, ready oh, and vlogging before the show. So, oh, my thanks God. for coming. I read your life story. I'm so impressed by you. You're just. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Man. Thank you so much. Doing yourself well. Thank you so much. I appreciate I that. I believe this. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Did she know? No. So you didn't know? Oh, yeah, no. Damn, damn, damn. No. What? Did she buy a ticket in the basement? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, where are we going? Yeah, I was like, this is our guy. And I was like, straight around. Her. Her. I don't know what. what is going on here now? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you had no. Oh, you're so welcome. I never had a Thank you so You're much. Oh, girl. Yeah. They are a mess. They are a hot mess. You so, take good care of them. I do. They're my babies. I'm, I'm excited to be back home and see them. And I do hate it there most of the time. But I'm excited. She the same thing. I'm excited to be back. Yes. Good. Oh, my God. Uh, She's waiting for the big one for me. Just died. Uh, <laughs> you know all your shirts that you have? Moment we have, we'll be like, no, oh my god, no. <laughs> we get to the end, you know, it's kind of like, well, I'm going to do this or whatever, but this 
that? Oh my god, I can't even believe it. <laughs> Y'all be too damn picky and your pussy dry up. Your pussy ain't dry, apparently. She said, not me, bitch. Well, who you fucking? Your BFFs. Y'all scissoring. She said, her BFFs. Come here, girl. You just put yours right here. I'll put mine right here, and we just rock. Lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock. Bitch, move to the side a little bit. You stupid bitch, it's my turn. Wait the fucking minute. Charleston has a Facebook group. Charleston has a Facebook group for what? Are you dating the same men? <laughs> Bitch, let me see this group. <laughs> Who shit! She said, anonymous member. I'm hoping no red flag. I really like this one. It's a fireman. I talked to him for a little while. He made a racist comment and it gave me the major ick. I tried, but I just couldn't. In my experience, they know how to cook. Would love to warn this girl about Evan. Ladies, I have the tea. This bitch got a picture of her and Evan. Evan laid up on her shoulder like, hey, baby, what you doing? <laughs> Fuck Lindsay, bitch. I'm here with you. Oh, my God. This man's got a, you, you, oh. <laughs> he got a urinary tract infection, syphilis. Oh red flag. Oh, this man is wearing a Machine Gun Kelly shirt. That's enough red flags for me. Mm-mm. My husband makes me sick. I cannot stand his ass. He makes me so damn mad, y'all. He makes fun of me all the time. He thinks it's so fucking funny to make fun of me. He makes fun of me because I carry a purse. Sir, you married a whole ass man and you want to make fun of me for carrying a purse. That's ironic. But you can make fun of me all you want to because I carry my purse for a vital reason. I have essential items that I need to carry with me every day. Vaseline and a pistol. Because these lips will not be chapped, and your ass can be capped. I do this thing on Instagram called Confessions with Matt. And it is where people tell me their deepest, darkest secrets and I tell them my real and honest opinion. Should we do some? Okay, here we go. My boyfriend wants me to put his toes, what? My boyfriend wants to put his toes in my butthole. Is that normal? No, bitch. Don't nobody want your fucking crusty ass toes in they butthole. What? 
you probably got fucking Walmart feet. What is wrong with y'all? Asking for a friend. Her boyfriend has recently started, but asking for a friend means you asking for yourself, bitch. Quit playing. Her boyfriend has recently started buying her wigs and whips and very sensational toys out of the blue. What do you think he is spiking from this interest? He fucking somebody else. He fuck, yes. Okay, you are fucking your best friend, so we don't need your opinion. I mean, I would think that's a red flag. Right, am I right? That's a red flag? That's what I would think too. I mean, get it how you live, I suppose, but what do you think he's spiking his interest? Well, maybe you're ugly and he wants you to look like somebody else. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I have to see what you look like. Y'all, I've been on tour since February. I'm really doing a lot to not get sick because I do meet and greets after every show. But I got bronchitis and I was really sick and I couldn't cancel shows. So I put some oregano on oil on the bottom of my feet. And I told y'all I sleep naked. And my bed is real tall. So I put my big old ass up in the bed and I sit like this and I sit on my bed. And all of a sudden, y'all, I felt like Satan himself just licked my asshole. My asshole started burning so bad, y'all. I got up and I was running through the house. My whole butthole was spread open. I said to my husband, it's on fire. Blow on it. Blow on it. I put my foot up on the counter and I started splashing water in my asshole. And then it started burning more. That was the most traumatic experience of my life. My asshole has experienced a lot of things in this life. And that was one I never want to experience again. However, the bronchitis did clear up. Note to self, do not put oregano oil on your butthole. <laughs> Charleston, thank you guys so much. I'm Matt Matthews. Thank <laughs> you.